How are we doing folks? Welcome back to the channel. So today at the time of recording sees the launch of the NVIDIA 4070 Super and I know we've looked at the Super lineup as a whole but today I thought it warranted a bit of a deeper dive into the 4070 Super and its overall value proposition. Before we do though a shocking number of you aren't subscribed to the channel not to put too fine a point on it but I'm trying really hard to get this channel monetized and YouTube have two main requirements 4,000 watch hours which we have and a thousand subs. I'm really really hoping we can get there so if you're enjoying the content and only if you are I'd really appreciate you hitting that sub button and while you're there the like button on this video wouldn't go miss either thanks uh, right back to the video all right so let's break down what the 4070 super is and where it sits in the overall lineup in terms of price and in terms of its performance starting with price it's coming in at 599 us which means it's taking the place of the original 4070 which launched last year though unlike the 4070 ti and the 4080 which are being discontinued to make way for their respective supermodels the original 4070 is sticking around um, and getting a price cut to 549 now in real terms the street price of the 4070 has been more or less 549 or thereabouts for some time now so i wouldn't call this a price cut more a uh, crystallization of what's been going on anyway. So a fair question to come from all of this would be, is the 4070 Super worth the extra $50? I think the answer is yes. If you're budgeting $600 to spend on a GPU, the 4070 Super is a great option. The extra $50 is well spent here as we're getting a lot of extra cores in the Super versus the non-Super, which will pay dividends in the uh, FPS numbers. Now, being a small, scrappy YouTube channel, I don't get review samples uh, yet, but um, nor do I have the money to go and buy all these cards to test. So all I can do is look at the reviews that came out yesterday and weigh that into my own analysis of the situation. But the general gist is that the 4070 Super sits between the original 4070 and the original 4070 Ti, but it's nearer to the Ti than the plain old 4070. So is that worth $50? Yeah, yeah, I'd say it is. Also, the Founders Edition looks incredible in its new darker colour. Um, being the gigantic fool that I am, I'd probably pay $50 for that alone. Um, don't judge me. Another point of view, I suppose, is that you could say NVIDIA should have just given us this card in the form of the regular 4070 last year. But putting aside being angry at the overall state of the GPU market, comparing these cards relative to one another, this really isn't a bad result, though it kind of does pain me to say it. The second question you should be considering is whether the 4070 Super is an appropriate card for your use case, um, as there are some details buried under the hood that aren't immediately obvious which could affect the answer to this. First of all, we need to consider how Nvidia have been comparing this card to their old 3090. And while I sort of get it, I don't like the comparison. At 1080p and 1440p, I can see how the 4070 Super is in the same ballpark, but it's when we start getting up into those 4K resolutions that things could start to fall apart. Why? The memory bus. The 3090 had a 384-bit memory bus, double that of the 4070 Super. Why does this matter? Well, it's all well and good having a boatload of VRAM, but if your memory bus isn't wide enough, it is going to hinder getting stuff in and out of that VRAM. And it's at 4K where you're really going to start to see the 192-bit memory bus on the 4070 Super begin to let it down, which is where I get a little bit annoyed at that direct comparison with the 3090. So I guess to wrap up, to answer that over, you know, that big question, is the 4070 Super worth it? I would say this. If you're in the market for a $600 GPU and you were already sort of considering the regular 4070 but didn't want to spend the extra 200 and move up to the 4070 Ti, this is a good card to buy. It gets you more performance than the regular 4070 and it gets you nearer, not all the way, but nearer to the 4070 Ti without having to drop that extra 200 bucks. If you're at 1080p or 1440p, I would say the card is worthy of your consideration. If you are wanting to game at 4K, it would be a pass from me. Again, just going back to that kind of memory bus issue. I just can't, I'm struggling to get over that at 4K. That's just my two cents for what it's worth. Let me know in the comments what you think. I always find it fascinating reading through all of your thoughts, so don't be shy. Until next time, take the very best care of yourselves. Be sure to hit the subscribe button for more content. Hit the like button if you found the video useful, and I will see you in the next one.